Gotta fight it. Gotta fight it. Okay, so, speaking of fights, uh, many of you know I am trying to add a fight to my re-edit of The Last Jedi. And, uh, you know, coming up with the, with the movements and everything, we wanted to be consistent to the fighting style that Kylo has and the fighting style that we think Luke would have as a Grand Jedi Master, so he's more gracious, he's definitely more defensive, just like <laughs> does an attack whenever he needs to, as Kylo just being batshit insane all over the place. Now, during the fight, we have a couple of moments that we hope you guys uh, can appreciate, and that is body language. We have Kylo Ren being tired because he's been like bashing and just attacking so much so much and so often and he's just tired but you can see that he's getting frustrated and then he launches it again and then we see uh, we see Luke Skywalker just being more relaxed more calm you can see emotion in the body language especially with Kylo now you can say oh why is it important that Kylo gets tired or frustrated during the fight why why like we just want to see like badassery and that's what I want to talk about today. Not badassery, but they... What the... Ah, oh, shut up. All right. All right, that's it. Oh, I need to cut that out. Anyways, uh, so... <laughs> what was I talking about? Uh, we've seen plenty of fights, and one of the most, in my opinion, boring but good examples of how not to do a fight comes in The Last Jedi. Now, if we look at the fight that Kylo Ren and Mary Ray Sue had against the family reunion of the Red Power Rangers, we can see that they just fight. There, it's a choreography, right? And that's what a fight really is at the end of the day. Just a choreography. It, it wasn't anything stellar, uh, but it wasn't necessarily anything uh, bad. You can see that there was some kind of effort put into it. But what is the difference between that fight and any other fight that I would consider good? And as an example, I'm going to use one in my opinions, in my opinion, <laughs> opinions, <laughs> and <laughs> why am I not <laughs> fucking shit? And I'm going to use as an example, one that in my opinion is one of the best fights in recent times and that is <laughs> the daredevil hallway fight oh my god yes number one with the last jedi we have like i said a choreography you can see that the characters are just blocking going with the motions uh, but there's not necessarily a feeling to it. And leading up to this fight, there wasn't any sort of build up to the antagonist. Now, here we have the Power Rangers supposed to be some sort of menacing presence, I guess. We've never seen them do anything. But before then, we didn't even know what they were capable of. So, just by then, we don't have any, 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 any sort of connection to them we don't know if they're any good whether they are bad whether they're pure evil whatever they are we don't know what they are now if they had fought Snoke that would have been more interesting because we have some sort of connection to Snoke and we know how powerful he is so at least we have some stakes we know that they are at disadvantage and that would have made us care for them now in Daredevil, we know that he, number one, is hurt. So we know that the fight is going to be an uphill battle. We know that the Russians are bigger in number. And we have seen during the establishing part of the fight that they have weapons, that they're greater in number, and most likely they have some sort of skill. Why? Because at the beginning of the episode, we see Daredevil being stabbed and just in a dumpster because of them. 
So now we have that connection that they are a threat. He is not in his prime. Uh, he is badly hurt. And he's trying to save a kid. Why is that kind of crucial for the fight, you may ask? Now let's look, going back to The Last Jedi, what was the point of Ben Swallow and Mary Ray Sue fighting the Red Power Rangers? What was the objective? What was the goal? Surviving. Surviving the, the, the bad guys. That's it? We, we have to survive every day to different stuff. That is not interesting. That doesn't give you an objective. It just means that they are doing the motions. They're going on the motions because they have to have a fight. Not because the fight needs to happen. It's because the script says that the polls say there needs to be a fight. No, there doesn't need to be a fight in every Star Wars movie. But every fight must mean something. Every single Star Wars fight has a purpose for that fight. Now let's go back to something good. Daredevil. We know that the Russians were capable of beating the living crap out of Daredevil in, you know, off, off screen, but we see the damage. So we know that he is, is there, but we don't focus on his survival. We know that he needs to survive in order to... <laughs> Save the kid. The kid is there. He's afraid. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, he doesn't know if he's going to see his dad again. So now we see that the intentions behind Daredevil can be even deeper than just fighting the bad guy. He's kind of obsessed in a way saving this little kid because is this little kid and the dad we saw on episode one that he was listening to many things and he decided to go with that one and we know that is consistent with the character because we know some sort of the background of that character so now we have a complete setup in which once the fight happens ah oh, it's so satisfying but this is the last point what happens during the fight that makes it relatable that you can believe it and you can feel it let me show you and see if you pick up on it See it? As you can see in The Last Jedi, they were just going through the motions. They were just moving according to the choreography. In Daredevil, he's getting tired. His body language is like, I can't go anymore. I really can't. I'm done. Oh, not again, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> And we know how that feels. We know we've all been in that position that we're just like done. But we need to strive one more time. Just one more step forward. And that makes that fight even better. Because of that body language. Because he is a human. And we are humans. And we can feel with him. And we can relate to him. And that makes us care for him. We care for Daredevil and we say, dude, just come on, come on. If I if I was there, I would help you get back up. Just please, one more punch for that kid, for you, for everything. Then we look at the last crap and we're just like, just please end. <laughs> this is freaking atrocious. Uh, that's why we decided to, to keep it as real as possible to, to have those moments of body language interactions because uh, we want you guys to experience a good fight, uh, a good emotional fight that needs to be there for a reason, to tell a story, not because there has to be a fight, 
but because it's necessary to the development of the characters. So that was my rant for today. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment in the comment section down below of which is, in your opinion, one fight that represents what I just talked about, body language, caring, establishing uh, of, the, of the fight, uh, menacing presence with the villain, all of that. Please leave a comment uh, down below. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram or Twitter, please do so, so you can get a peek into my boring ass life. And if you like what you see here on the channel and you want to keep this channel, uh, keep going and obviously be alive, please consider being one of the patrons. I would really appreciate it. Uh, with that said, guys, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.